guys. Here we are for a virtual lab. It's the virtual brine shrimp lab. So let's get underway. In a bit, I'll take you and show you the setup. But very simply, watch the lab. You're going to have to come up, write down the procedures. You'll draw your own conclusions, come up with your own ideas. I'll try and film what they look like and we'll go from there. The generic setup, one shrimp is getting light 24-7, one set of shrimp is getting dark 24-7, and the other is getting intermittent light. About 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. You have to come up with your own hypothesis. How will light affect the hatch rate? Which one do you think will get the best hatch rate, worst hatch rate, what have you? Come up with your hypothesis. You'll have to kind of write up the procedures as I'm going to sort of have to do them for you record and draw your own conclusions. Well, come on in and let's take a look at the setup and we'll go from there. All right, as promised, here's the setup. So we're going to hatch some brine shrimp. Had to put some salt in to make it the right salinity. Had to add a little bit of baking soda because I needed the pH to be around eight. And our pH is at, was a little bit off. Water, dump in the brine shrimp. So here we go. This one has been getting light 24 seven. This one, no light whatsoever. Obviously it's painted in matte black, no light can get in. Inside of the box here, it's been intermittent light. So, Getting ready to uncover it because about that time of the day. So even though you can't see it, it's the exact same setup. It's just been in the box so it gets some light and some dark. Well, let's take a look and see what we can find. All right, guys, what we're gonna do here is get a single drop on for you to look at. And here we go. So this is full light, one single drop. And let me see if I can get the whole thing in view so you can count. The idea here is how many hatch. So this is one drop out of full light. So you may want to slow it down or hit pause, but the idea is count how many of them are there and we will compare that to the others. I'm going to play with the focus a hair it's slightly different between my phone and my eyeballs, but about the best we can get. So there you go. That is one drop full sun. Now I got to go get total darkness. All right, here we go. Sliding in, total darkness. I'll try and adjust it, make sure we can see the whole drop of water. They kind of swim in and out. Yeah, the drop may have been slightly smaller, but you should be able to get a count once again, I'm just gonna let that one run while I go get a drop of intermittent light. Once again, that was full darkness. Sorry, I think the light bulb is causing some interference, but I think we should get a pretty good idea. There's our whole water droplet from end to end. All right, I'll let that run while I get the last droplet. All 
And here is the intermittent light. And then let me see if I can scroll around, make sure we see the whole water droplet there so we can get a count. Bottom end. those through there well guys that should give you a reasonable set of data for hatch rates with brine shrimp shrimp that's just the edge of the bubble there so again just trying to cycle around make sure you can see everything that's there and that should wrap us up Well, there you have it, brine shrimp. Who knew, little teeny tiny guys. Hopefully you were able to get some reasonable data. I know it's a little hard trying to get the camera up there, but hopefully we were able to get an idea for hatch rates. Once again, draw your conclusions. Also, what next? What other experiment might you want to try on these guys? Be sure you identify the independent variable and the dependent variable along with our control. Remember, when it comes to control, think what's the normal. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for the Great Plankton Race. Take care, guys.